It is our favorite day of the week again, and join me with some coffee, because it's coffee time with the collective energies for today, which is Monday. Monday, March 25th. I want to thank all my new subscribers and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if this uh, resonates or you think it might help others, please like and share. That is like the biggest accolade, the biggest, you know, thank you you could ever give uh, any of us readers here on YouTube. And we are very appreciative of it, especially me. I'm Kat. Hi, guys. If you're new to the channel or just stumbled across it and went, oh, let me check this hoe out. Kidding. I'm not a hoe, but um, <laughs> I am an energy, high frequency energy psychic. I've been doing this for over 30 years, over 20 on the internet. Um, I do not read traditionally. I just I tap in the energies of the universe and the cosmos, and uh, through spirit, bring it through to us down here so we can understand what the hell's going on. So anyway, good morning, everyone. My five hours starting to kick in. Woohoo! Ready to go. Mm. So, I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. And I know things have slowed down. People are like, God, everything's, nothing's moving. Everything just seems still. All the stuff that's been moving starting to go. You know why? We've got Mercury now making its turn direct. So, things are going to slow down. Take advantage. We, one of the influential energies, this is a, this is a Trump. Okay. Is we have the Four of Swords energy. Don't panic. Remember, I don't read this traditionally. The energy is of the Four of Swords, what I'm getting from Spirit. Okay. Notice the Lamb. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot. I should be telling you guys what card decks I'm using. Okay. All right. So the Lamb is very peacefully just chilling out. Third eye open, just going, you know, I'm going to rest. And just chill. These Four of Swords represent fears, worries, Armageddon scenarios. But he's chilling. She's like, yeah, whatever. I know it's in my mind. And this is the energy that's influencing us today. It's encouraging us to chill and relax. Things are still going on in the background with the energy of the Ten of Cups. Reminding, now that's going to be flowing in under this. Okay. Once you get your mind stopping, you're going to feel this. You're going to really, this energy is going to hit you. The things you've been working on that you started to see manifest here on the physical plane are still waiting on. It doesn't matter. You feel that energy. It's almost like a double-edged sword. It's like literally a sword. Okay? We still have fears. Yeah, but, oh, no, maybe I'm putting my hopes into something that isn't real and blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, man, you know, got swept up and I'm, uh, I need to come back to reality. Don't even, because once you put that down, these swords will, these swords will start kind of losing their sharpness there. Okay, this energy is going to come in and show you. So be open. Signs and synchronicities are going to be coming in a lot stronger now, even though things aren't moving. See the third eye here on the lamp? It's being open because that's going to make these start to start to fall away, away from you. Not on top of you. They're going to fall away. Okay, this is all about inner work today. And I feel like this might, is this going to push through to this week, but or your retrograde is going to be over here by, what, the weekend, next week? And that's when things are really going to start picking up. I mean, speed. Everything that's slowed down right now, there's a lot of stuff going in the background, which we're going to cover here in a second. Okay, this has to, right now, we need to take advantage to be restful. Any ideas that are coming in towards any things you're manifesting, um, whether it's career and things are picking up now, they're slowing down. Write them down, research, you know, put them together, you know, figure out how it's going to work. But don't implement them until after we, until Mercury goes direct. Because that's when you're going to have the fiery, the Aries energy is really going to come flying in. We are in Aries season, the new astrological year. So basically we're going to be really kicking off next week. So it's going to be, so be ready, get your rest while you can. I understand if everybody's working, but these worries and fears and Armageddon scenarios need to, just, they're going to be pointed out to you, basically. The energy is going to be influencing of, of the things that you're stressed out about that you, you know, that are not. Do you have facts? Are you worried about something that has to do with somebody else uh, doing an action? Like, well, crap, we're supposed to go do this, but I haven't heard from so-and-so. Don't worry about it. If it's meant to be, you'll do it. If not, you won't. Now, remember, third-party energies, you know. Don't get so stressed out about what other people are doing. 
when when the action really lies, the only place you have control of action is you and how you're reacting to things. If you're going to go forward on your own or if you're going to step outside your comfort zone, you don't need to wait for anybody else. So that should take a little bit of pressure off of here, too. And Armageddon scenarios, you know, unless you have the facts. You don't need to worry about anything. So basically being mindful and centered today. Sorry, there goes my my confirmation. <laughs> my beautiful confirming uh, grandfather clock there. Okay. Now we also have this beautiful energy of judgment coming in. And when I say beautiful, it's forgiveness, release, releasing, and freedom. Yeah, forgiveness. Forgiveness for... I feel it's really heavily tied into a sword here in this energy. One of the swords. So it's forgiving. You might be feeling lighter about a situation you've had a lot of resentful for. Somebody may be a uh, trauma. Somebody may have hurt you. Broke your heart. Maybe lost a job. Because of somebody else. But I feel that the forgiveness energy is very, very strong today too. We're going to be seeing with these swords energy. You notice he's chilling with the third eye. It, there's going to be revelations. But with these revelations, each revelation you got with these fears that have been haunting you or the uh, resentments or anything that need to go, need to fall away now, you're going to feel this beautiful energy come in. A sense of peace and freedom, a sense of lightness, like you've just put down the heaviest load you've been carrying. And most importantly, I feel like the focus, this focus is on us individually, on you, not on other, you know what I mean? This is all about us today. And I really feel with this, this forgiveness energy, continue, I mean, really forgive yourself for any mistakes or any decisions you made you felt that was the biggest mistake and, and you, God, I should have did this instead. But at the time, you have to remember, at the time you made a decision that you felt that was best for you, whether, no matter what your mindset was. So quit beating yourself up and chill. Things are coming. Things are working in your favor you're you know what i mean you're a beautiful beautiful soul so keep your into <laughs> listen to that gut instinct be in the moment if you're working today especially or even if you're not try to put your focus on here don't let that mind wander over here into the swords you don't want them starting to get closer you know you want them to fall away you know keep yourself and forgiveness is a big one this energy of freedom with the judgment card and if anybody's uh, doing anything with court or any legal separations or anything like that, it, there is a blessing here. Okay. But forgiveness is the big, big energy I'm feeling tied into this. And that freedom, release. That's what I feel with judgment. So we've got all this wonderful energy. So these cards here, which is the sacred geometry um, cards that I use to tap into the cosmos. This is the underlying energy. It's kind of like getting a sneak peek at what the who, what is the divine doing in the background while we're dealing with all this. Okay, now what I'm feeling is, it's funny, we get the magic card, okay, which the energy, um, what I was picking up in meditation, really is tied into this Ten of Cups, reminding us, okay, we have this energy to tap into for creativity, being open. Not only that, but you're going to feel a sense of, <clears throat> of, okay, I can make this happen. So whatever's going on here is going to be kind of, uh, I want to say, canceled out when you tap, when you open up. And get rid of that. You've got this energy coming in to support you. Going, no, yes, you've got this. You are manifesting. You will manifest this. It is manifested. Okay. I know it sounds a little cryptic. Bear with me, guys. I'm just doing it as it comes in. Okay. Belief in what you're doing. Do not give up. Okay. Believing in what you're creating. This new life. This new happiness. You know, for yourself. Is starting to spread out. You're actually starting to see it, but that's where the Four of Swords energy comes in. Really getting rid of these last major worries and stresses so this can really fully come in when it's time. Okay? Uh, Mercury Retro. As soon as it, I'm telling you, the manifestation is going to be crazy. But I really feel, too, synchronicity and signs, okay, are going to be huge this week. Do not knock anything off as coincidence. Or there's no way that happened. I had something happen yesterday and, uh, as a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine, pointed out all these things leading up to something that happened yesterday. I went, oh, my God. And she goes, you cannot say that's coincidence. 
<laughs> it is not coincidence. This is happening. You have to respond. So anyway, um, in the best way I could. And then I stepped into belief and I went, okay. <laughs> Things are happening, even though they've slowed down. But belief in what you're creating, belief that you are manifesting this life, belief that you have manifested is very big with this energy. This is going to tie into this. You're going to feel this sense of belief, this empowerment energy together. Okay, I'm, I know I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble kind of articulating this out to you guys, right? But I think some of you, <laughs> if you listen to your gut, I think you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. And, and thinking outside the box and allowing, go wild with your imagination, go wild. But remember, just to take notes and, and get your ideas together, get, you know, what you want to do. Now's the time to take the time to do that. There may be things you want to reassess. Maybe some of you are kind of going, yeah, that's kind of cool, but you're not really feeling it. Toss it out. You know what I mean? This is the time to do this. We've got this beautiful calming energy because we're going to get really busy. We're not going to have time to stop and do this. I'm having a deja vu right now. Oh, goodness. Okay. And we've got this beautiful prosperity energy underneath. Working in the background, um, I feel like there's going to be some uh, incoming... Uh, uh, I was going to say unexpected, but I feel like I want to say incoming uh, little finance, a uh, little boost money-wise for some of you. Um, some of it is going to be a surprise. Like, oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Maybe somebody who owed you money like a year ago just suddenly goes here. Um, something to that effect is working in the background. And remember, I really feel that I need to, uh, that we were talking about, or that came up this weekend, I talked about the uh, Pentacles energy that came in saying, watch your money, um, don't get frivolous. Um, and the thing is, you're going to see why. And not in a bad way. But you're going to be like, oh, you may have an opportunity tied into this. You know, but you won't move on it till after the um, Mercury goes direct, okay? But you, I feel there's going to be opportunities for some of you people directly connected to what you're manifesting, whether it's career, love, money, maybe it's travel, and you're going to run into somebody, who knows, you know, um, or maybe you've been wanting to go to Disneyland and take all the family and you just haven't been able to do it. I feel that this this energy that's coming in, you know, things like that, you're going to be like, oh, thank God I didn't buy that you know, diamond ring because it looked so cool, you know, or, you know, I'm just using that for a bad example, but um, you're going to be seeing why it was really important to uh, watch that money. And in a way, it's kind of a reward. You're going to get these opportunities and you're going to have the finances to, you know, uh, do it. But after the retro, after Mercury goes direct, and then everything's going to really be awesome. I also feel though that this prosperity energy isn't just talking about money prosperity and love in for yourself in all areas all aspects your job today you know prosperity stands for less of a lot of people automatically go for money but this has to do with prosperity and feeling it's like the support of, of well-being feeling secure and feeling like oh, this is it you know feeling like you're taken care of it's not it's a state of being not so much as a financial to back that up. It's like financially and material. It's like that backs it up, but really it comes from within. It, the, we need to feel secure. I, I know people who have a lot of money that are not, don't feel that, you know. It takes a lot more of the money to make you really step into an, an abundant feeling within. And that's what this energy is going to be bringing in to all of us today in the background. Okay, we've got all these wonderful energies just kind of working for us. Um, and again, this third day, I think this is the third time this card came up. We're in transition right now. Allow, since things started to slow down, I noticed this card's popping up. Uh, this energy is very strong. I really feel it's a strong transition. It's reminding us again. There is transition going on in the background as everything slows down so these changes can be made divine alchemy i'll say it again is in play it's not timing now it's alchemy everything you've been manifesting is is coming in if it hasn't yet or if it's partially manifested it's going to be fully manifesting right now while the energies are slowed down transition is happening so be open keep believing keep working towards your stuff okay and just remember not to take action right now, especially this week. We want to wait till Mercury is in full direct, okay? 
And we need to be working on this, letting go of those worries and fears and allowing, <laughs> trusting the uh, third eye, your intuition, and knowing that the universe literally has your back and it's taking care of things. We don't want to interfere in that. We're just supposed to be still, which is kind of hard for some. The only thing you can control is you, your actions, your direction, okay? Not others. So just keep that in mind with the swords energy, with your the fears and worries and Armageddon scenarios. Now, it's really beautiful. It trumps these, but yet binds them and amplifies them. Heart chakra. Heart chakra energy. This beautiful healing. It, there's a healing going on. Okay. Okay. What I'm getting too, guys, is um, this is really important. This energy is so supportive. We have all this new stuff coming in that we've been dreaming up for years. It's actually starting to manifest. It's our time, right? But, you know, there were things that we've done on the way before we got to where we are today. We're not so proud of. We beat ourselves up over. We won't let go of. That we're still kind of hurting from. And that's where this healing energy is coming in to help us to heal that and go, you are not the same person you were then. You are worthy and deserving of the stuff you've been working on and going with the flow. It's like, yeah, I'm doing this. And all of a sudden you go, yeah, but you know, and then all of a sudden things from the past start flooding in. Making you question, am I worthy of this? Yes, you are. It wouldn't be coming in. <laughs> It'd be like, okay, you got to wait because you got stuff to do. It's coming in. You are worthy. You are way worthy. And this beautiful healing energy is coming in to help us. To, to really step into the inner, inner inner true selves. Open up that intuition. Be open to signs and synchronicities to show, to prove you're worthy. To prove things are still moving. To prove that things are here. We may not see full manifestation in the physical plane, but we are seeing things in the physical plane that are showing it's here. It may not be coming in like you predicted. That's okay. Expect the unexpected. The universe is bringing it in in the best way, especially if you still have a lot of fears and worries about new success or new things coming in, even though you're like, yeah, I'm ready for it. You know, deep down, are you? That's what these energy, that's what this energy is uh, asking us to uh, really look at and let go of. Okay, because we are all worthy of the good stuff coming in. And that's what today, and I feel like this is going to be the theme for at least uh, to midway through the week. We'll have to take a look tomorrow. And I know I blathered on, and I hope you guys, I didn't make you all fall asleep. Um, this is a really important um, reading this morning. Uh, I really felt very strong energy to put this out there. And I know it will resonate with the right people. Because sometimes it's hard to do what I do. <laughs> I'm very different from others. But... If you are still with me, you're worthy. Allow this healing energy to come in. It's there. It's going to help you through this. It's going to help you. It's going to. You're going to feel step into that space. And remember, self care. Pay attention to what you love. Release what is not no longer serving you. What drains you? If it's a thought, sit down with it and just allow it to fall away. It's not. It's not supporting who you are now that's why maybe every time a certain thought or fear pops in you really get drained you kind of drop down and you just don't have energy it can affect you physically so we have to let that go dear forgiveness and we have this beautiful this energy will come in and it's going to help it's really going to help cleanse it's going to help support you because you are worthy and deserving all these wonderful things coming in and thank you for hanging with me i appreciate that now if you're still here with me, guys, I'm going to be doing a very special pickle card to this afternoon. It's going to be up. Uh, it's going to take me a couple hours to do it because I'm doing, again, multiple cards. This is going to be geared towards people waiting on the union of the their DM, uh, their uh, divine male or divine feminine, twin flame, or other half energy, okay, or energy person <laughs> coming in. So this is going to be a really important pick a card. Um, it's going to take... It's going to be a long one, but it's going to be worth it. And I really feel very strongly to do that. So if you're hanging in there with me, thank you. And remember, hit that little button down there, little bell under if you've subscribed. If you haven't, subscribe. So that way you can be the first to know when I post that video. And sending you all much love and light. Much love and light today. Step into that.
You're worthy and beautiful of love and all the wonderful things in the world. Okay? You really are. Sending you just all sorts of love today. Oh, I'm feeling that heart energy. <laughs> Namaste, everybody. Enjoy your day, and I'll have that pick a card up in a few hours.